Hey everybody, it's Shark Scrapper. Well, as promised, we're going to scrap out these computers uh, and um, have some fun uh, getting the interesting stuff out of them. Probably not going to do a detail on every single computer, or otherwise this would be one very long video. But uh, let's go ahead and dive in and see what we're coming up with. see what this frame is. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. So what we're going to do is get everything out of here and then break down this frame. The frame is in pretty bad shape. It's really scuffed up and scratched so uh, side panels busted. So there's no resale value in the in the frame itself. We have a fan Caddy. This was probably where the hard drives were. And that's shred. So we'll take the fan off of that. That's just shred. I'm just going to set that aside for right now. It's a little bit older because it's it's you know it doesn't have SATA cables on it, so um, oh wait a minute, there was one SATA cable there. The uh, CPU is missing. It's an older CPU, so no big deal there. So this was an old gamer. So in addition to screws, it had like a rubber, uh, little rubber brackets holding it in. Another fan. All right, so on this board, uh, if you wanted to, you could pull some MLCCs. There's some, there's some nice MLCCs there. Nice MLCCs inside of here. Uh, gold jumper, gold jumper, oscillator. Probably pull that flat pack if you want. And of course, there's nothing on the back. Let's see where we hang up on. A whole lot of potential snags here. A lot of wire wraps.
All right, so this is uh, a gamer power supply, so there might be some resale value in this. So I'm gonna, before I take this to the yard, I'm gonna check out the potential resale value of this one. Um. Okay, there's the board for the CD-ROM and this has gold plating on it so keep that and the brass spindle we pull off <clears throat> if you're so inclined you can of course go for the motors Now, um, what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to break down the aluminum here in a separate, you know, offline or in a separate video. So we're going to set this aside for right now. So here we have an old Packard bill. And it looks like it had a nice ceramic in here that is no longer here, so that's very disappointing. Ah, well. That's what happens when you're buying computers by the pound. Sometimes you do really well, and sometimes you get hosed. Hosed. In this case, I got hosed. I figured you probably didn't need to watch me scrap another of these Packard I'm Bells, but I did want to show you the chip that came out of the other one that I scrapped. I mean, they're, you know, they were pretty much identical. So here's the chip that was in the other one. All right, power supply, we cut the wires. This is the way I'm doing it because of the prices I'm getting right now. Uh, just uh, get the wires cut off here. And then uh, power supplies I'm selling to my yard as a power supply with, without wire. Mm. A little better than shred. Not great. So backplane board, nice big gold fingers on the backplane board. <clears throat> um, so you can either pull the gold fingers and then sell it as a, you might get away with mid, but it's really just a low grade. Um, if your yard isn't paying attention, you might get away with mid. Um, but if you pull those gold fingers here, then it's just a low grade board. Uh, or you can sell it as a backplane board to board sort your yard may have a category for backplane boards. This is still a valuable board for me because it is a large socket green. Uh, or I had to check and see. I don't remember it right off the top of my head if if board sort uh, separates the colors uh, for the boards, the large sockets. I just I don't remember right off the top of my head. But large socket, you can pull this. You can. For those of you who are trying to understand uh, how to determine if a 
what a large socket motherboard is, the easiest thing to do is to put a US quarter in the CPU socket. And if the US quarter fits inside of the CPU socket, then according to boardsort.com standards, it's a large socket motherboard. Pull the ICs that are socket mounted. That's okay with board sort. Uh, but don't pull the ones that are, if you're selling the board sort, don't pull the ones that are hard mounted to the boards. Uh, but if you are inclined to do some depopulating on a board like this, there's some real nice value here in these flat packs, ICs, large tantalums. So, you know, there's some good value here if you are inclined to depopulate or you have no choice but to depopulate. And like most motherboards, there's nothing on the back. So I set this aside because it's a large socket. Just an interface push button, so I'm not going to worry about that. Now let's uh, pull out here a little bit of this metal back in the case. Now, just so everybody's clear, I'm not putting trash back in here. Um, you know, certainly my yard expects that there's a certain amount of plastic that comes with with computers, <clears throat> but when I load up the shells to take them back, what I'm putting inside are metal pieces or stuff that's predominantly metal. And um, I guess you're going like that. So that what the yard is, <clears throat> so I'm not ripping off the yard. I'm just making it a cleaner uh, package. You know, when I'm in the, you know, for loading up the truck and such. get these screws undone here real quick for the CD. Since I happen to be looking at this side, <clears throat> there's another bracer bar here, but I don't think I need to get that out. Oh, yeah, very interesting. Okay. I know you all are sitting there going, well, what, 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 what's so interesting? <laughs> Hang on, you'll see. Metal. There's another cooling fan. Let's go. And some ribbon wire. So we have two Intel two Intel Pentium 2 slot processors in this in this board in this uh, device. There we go. To pull boards, but this is such an interesting older board. Um, wow, look at that. It's got these two in, uh, Pentium 2s. It has one, two, three, four of these, these style older silver RAM. It's got another four of these other style of silver RAM here. So. <clears throat> I'm going to hang on to this board because one of the things that uh, I'm planning to do in um, this year, 2021, is to open up on my website uh, selling this older, uh, interesting hardware that I pull out of the out of the computers. So I'm not going to mess with this any more than what I have because I may have already messed with it too much, um, and I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, put this up set this aside and put this up for sale on my website if any of you are collectors and you're interested in this let me know just send me an email at 
chartscrapper at gmail.com. Uh, and uh, otherwise, you can just wait till it till it goes up on my website. And I know some of you want to take a closer look at that board, so here you go. And we have some brass. Standoffs or risers. the brass risers this case itself is uh, see I want to get you off of there there we go that's what I wanted I wanted to get this off because this should go with the motherboard there we go <clears throat> the case itself is is uh, nothing you know to get too excited about in pretty bad shape And uh, looking at looking at these burn marks here, <laughs> I'm thinking that uh, this, this uh, burned out, or you know something went bad with it. So I seriously doubt that that board is functional anymore. Um, but you know, as a collector item, there may still be some interest. So I'm going to get rid of the case. But I'm not. I'm. I'm going to hang on to the board for the time being. And some of you are probably saying, "Well, why don't you just sell the stuff on eBay?" Um, you know. I have tried and I have been successful at selling some stuff on eBay, uh, but the issue I have with eBay is it's kind of a pain for folks. You're bidding on things, you got the buy now price and you know that kind of stuff going on and what I'd rather just do is um, have a reasonable price on my website have people come back to me and say would, would you take X or something like that which you know I would entertain if they're reasonable counter offers um, and then um, just you know cut out all the hassle of the of the gamesmanship that goes on with eBay and and the people trying to rip you off and that kind of stuff and uh, just you know make the stuff available for I'm not gonna have a huge audience this is a nice CD-ROM board nice and big There's my box for CD-ROM boards, and there's gold plating there, uh, but no motor I want to go after. No spindle. <clears throat> so by selling the stuff myself, uh, it's a lot less hassle for you all, for me, uh, and uh, I think you'll get better value for the money because uh, you know I'm just I'm going to be setting some reasonable prices. And uh, you guys can let me know, you know when, you, when you look at those prices. Hey, would you take whatever? So I, I just think that would work better for everybody. All right. Shell back on here. This one ought to be relatively benign. <laughs> you know, this should be a relatively standard scrap, this Dell.
do the there we go get the four screws that hold the power supply in place tip it down on its side hang on to this thumb screw uh, if it's a you know if you want to put the cover back on there we go open her up yeah, we still got a hard drive in here It's a SATA based hard drive. How big are you? Barracuda 7200. I don't see. Oh, 160 gigabytes. Try not to use them all in one place. One gigabyte PC2. There's the RAM box. It's the neighbor's dog. <clears throat> One of our neighbors, they they leave their dog out and he just howls away all day long. Go bad for the guy. Um, aluminum heat sink, fan, and we'll just put you in the fans and get you later gold pin type CPU I know my friend Scrapping Irish loves that There, you just push that little bracket button, and, uh, and usually these will pop right out. Usually, sometimes they don't want to play. FedEx, FedEx man, coming along. Okay, so, um, small socket, right, because there's no socket. <laughs> I know, that doesn't seem like that should be the way it is, but that's the way it is. I just pulled some gold jumpers here. So, I'm selling this to my yard as a large, I mean, excuse me, as a high-grade board. Um, I pulled the jumpers. Let's go ahead and grab an oscillator. And because there's no other chips on this one, I'm going to leave that flat pack on. Sometimes I'll pull that flat pack if there are some other chips. I know, right there, there's, an, there's a chip underneath there. It's probably going to be one of those, one of those glass. Here, let's just see what we got going here. Come on. Yeah. So it's just, it's another one of these ones with the glass. Um, I normally leave the aluminum heatsink on those. Uh, my yard will still buy it as a high grade with the aluminum heatsink on. Uh, so anyway, high grade board, aluminum heatsink. All righty. Let's go ahead and put the faceplate back on. Close her up. Oh, 
first, let's see what you are. You're Pharos. Well, they took the CPU out, but they left the graphics card. I'm thinking it's older. Probably not worth a lot. Yeah, so this is a turbo, iTurbo, quiet cooler, advanced, very dusty, got some dirt on it. I seriously doubt there's going to be much resale value, but there is HDMI. We'll set you aside and check into you. It's chilly out here today, so my nose is a little bit... <laughs> Excuse me. So my nose is running a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Let's get some things unscrewed. Probably a pretty good board in its day, PCI Express 2.0. So, in its day, there was some there was some uh, umphy there, but anyway, we'll pull this battery and. Um, I seriously doubt that this is going to be of any interest to anybody, so put that in with our high-grade boards to sell off. And we've got some copper risers here to get out. Excuse me, brass risers. Not too many, though. Hey, Ian, what do you think of my new hammer, huh? This is a really cool new hammer. It's a geologist's hammer. So it's got a point back here. You can see it's not a flat blade, but a pointed blade. And then, of course, it's good and heavy and whack. And then the point for, you know, making a point of things with my scrap. All right. Uh, no CD-ROM. Let's see how quickly and easily I can get that faceplate off and get the rest of the wire. Do you want to come out and go in my low-grade bucket for me? Why, yes, you do. Low-grade. Trash, trash. Put the faceplate back on. And this one's ready to go. All right, E machines. This should be another relatively straightforward scrap. Those thumb screws don't want to come out, so that's fine. And we probably do not need to take off anything more than this side. Wow. 
All right, so somebody already cut the wires off of the power supply. Uh, they've already pulled out the CPU. They've already taken out the RAM. Not a whole lot of value left in this one for me. And it's a small socket board, so nothing of great value for me. In fact, this one is of so little value that we're just going to go right on to the next one. It's one of these flat Dells. Come on. There's buttons on either side. That one's a little bit broke, but it's not holding up anything. This one... Didn't want to play, but we can miss it. Ah, all right there, Mr. Spider. How about, are you still a spider? Yes. There you go. There you go. Go run away, he's cold. He doesn't want to play right now. Uh, 256. Back plane board here. Power supply. Let's see what our CPU is real quick. What do you say? Oh, well, we kind of expected that, didn't we? Just a little gold pin CPU. Oh man, I'm very sorry about my nose, folks. Very, very sorry. Can't be helped with the cold weather. Back plane board, metal for the strand. Power supply connection that way. Now we still have the hard drive and the CD ROM in here. And and uh, relatively easy to get that out. Just squeeze those and give it a pull. Well, at least that's the theory. Come on. Usually they just slide right out. This one's got sand and stuff jammed in it. There we go. Yeah. Normally they don't, uh, they're, they're not <laughs> such a problem. Um, but this one had, I could feel some grittiness, like there was sand or something jammed up in there. 20 gigabytes. feed this ribbon wire back and forth across these little prongs or you can just give it a pull you know whatever you whatever you happen
ABS drive are just a little bit problematic with this style because the way they're in these little brackets back here. So you have to give the little metal bracket a tug to pull it back just a little bit. And then you can unhook the wire from it. And then uh, this power supply. Yeah. <coughs> wow. Ugh. Dust. Dust. There we go. So you're supposed to be able to push down and up, and then that's supposed to release. And sometimes it even works. This motherboard is mounted to a metal tray. One screw there. Metal tray should pull back then pretty easily. Some screws and things out of the way. And then what you can see is there's no there's no screws holding the motherboard onto this metal tray. Uh, it's just these pins, and you just slide the, or give it a little tap like that, and it should then slide back and be able to come off. This one has been, got, has gotten some dirt and stuff in it, so it needs a little encouragement. And we pull this battery off again. I'm going to pull that gold cornered BGA. So before we do that, let's go ahead and get this closed up. Put that metal tray back where it was. Let's pull this. Let's see if this CD-ROM was to come out any easier. It did. heavy-duty wire on this CD board. Another CD-ROM board. Yeah, what I like to do with these is put them back together and slide them back where I got them from. There we go. There. Close you up. Nice, neat little package ready to go back to the yard. Okay, there's the power supply, there's the water. Now then, this board I'm going to be selling this as a high-grade board to my yard, so I'm going to pull off these gold fingers, and I'm going to pull off that gold-cornered BGA. So this is pretty simple. You've seen lots of folks do this. You take a chisel, put it on the edge. Usually one of the edges that has the gold corner seems to work best. A little bit of an angle on there. Give it a whack or two and it comes off if this part busts off collect up those pieces because there's gold bonding wires in those and then we're going to pull these gold fingers this is where you really need to know your yard and what they will let you get away with 
So my yard is going to still be fine taking this as a as a um, high grade board. Um, but you need to know what your yard will do. Okay. Tiny little Dale. We have the hard drive. Power off that. It's a Seagate, 40 gigabyte. Those are trash. Screws go in the screw bucket. Let's get this metal bracket out of the way. Yeah, these small form factors are always interesting in the way that they're supposed to come apart, right? Because that's going to pull out now. Assuming I do it right, it's going to pull out now. <laughs> Right, we got some fans there. There we go. Um, an optical drive, you know, DVD, CD, nothing, nothing terribly good there. Get you off here. I love how they pack these things. So much stuff in such a little space. Oops. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That copper heat sink there. What's hiding underneath the U? Copper heat sink. Boy, that's beautiful. That's going over with my coppers. I'll probably pull those copper fins off. This is just a pinless. Celeron. So um, this just goes in with the pinless CPUs. <clears throat> right now we have a couple of fans here. Should just pop right out. <clears throat> oh, come on. Make me want to work for it. Keep this little <clears throat> this little uh, SATA cable because sometimes these little short SATAs are might be something that's hard to find for folks. Uh, nothing. Two fifty six. Nothing to write home about there. Battery. I know what your problem is now. These guys. Remember those two screws I took out for that that one metal bracket? Well. These risers now want to be a problem. And you check these risers, but they're almost always ferrous. And if one is ferrous, probably the other one is too. However, you want to check. Did I miss a screw somewhere? Oh, the screws from the heatsink bracket are now holding it down. Corner BGA there. Uh, 
just go ahead and get you So the heat sink popped off of the gold corner BGA while I was in the process, so that's cool. You go there, you go there. My bucket's blocked. Cut it and uh, that's all I'm going to pull from that one. So that's going to go in the... That goes in the trash. That goes in the high grade bucket and the rest is shred. Oh, this one was named Wendy. Either that or it was Wendy's computer. The link you see popping up is going to take you to my e-waste playlist. I have plenty more e-waste kind of videos. Plus I got street scrapping videos and specific item videos. So help yourself. I love making them for you. Have a great day, everybody.